This video is brought to you by Dev Mountain, a coding bootcamp that offers in-person and online courses in a variety of subjects, including web development, iOS development, user experience design, software quality assurance, and Salesforce development. For more information, consult the link in the description below. We're going to start to build our project that we saw from the previous video. And what we're going to do specifically is we're going to enable Google Drive API to allow our Python script to make use of this. So the Google Sheets, that we saw from the previous video that had all the content and all the content was written to that spreadsheet. This is going to allow our Python script to take that data that we generate or that we obtain from Amazon in this case and put that data into the spreadsheet. So what we're gonna do is we're going to navigate over to our browser and I'm going to navigate to the following site. So Google, sorry, console.developers.google.com and I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create a project. So I'm gonna say select project I'm going to say new project and I'm going to go ahead and give this project a name. So we'll just call this, let's say it uh, budget dash YouTube and I'm just going to say create. So that's going to create this project. You can see that it's in the middle of creating this project here. This takes a few seconds or so. So just give it a couple seconds, wait for it to be created. And then once the project has been created, we're going to enable a API so that this project can make use of, in this case, the Google Drive API. So let's just make sure that the product here is selected. So I called it Budge YouTube, but we'll just go with that. That's totally fine. You can call it whatever you like. So for this project that is selected up here, we'll say Enable APIs and Services. And the API or service that we want to enable in this case is the Google Drive API. So I'm just going to type that in, search for Google Drive. Let's just refresh this here just to make sure that it's actually searching. So Google Drive API right there. So just make sure that you click this as the API you want to select. And then you'll notice that this enable button is here. So for the project that we're on, which is budget YouTube, again, misspelled, but that's okay. We're going to enable this for our project. So right now it's enabling this particular API for our project. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a set of credentials for, for this API. So that way our Python scripts can interact with it. So we'll click on this create credentials button. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select from this menu that we want to have this API access the Google Drive API. In this case, we might have other APIs selected, but in this case, we just have one. And in this case, our Python script is going to be accessing this content from a web server. So we'll select that from that drop down there. Uh, we're going to be accessing application data, and then we're not going to be using the uh, Google App Engine or Compute Engine or anything like that. So let's click on what credentials do I need, and we're going to go ahead and give this a service account. So let's just call this Budget YouTube. I'll just keep it the same, Budge-YouTube, just for the sake of consistency. Uh, so this is just going to be a, a name of an account, a name of a person that can access that Google Sheet. So you're giving this account the rights to edit or to use or to view the contents that this API is going to provide to us. So in this case, we want to provide complete editing access for this project. So we're going to select the role of this as a project editor. So this is going to allow us to actually open the Google spreadsheet and put in content, edit the content of that uh, spreadsheet that we're going to make use of. So here, this key type, let's just keep it as JSON. This is going to create a client secret JSON file, which is going to essentially enable us, it's going to provide us a window for our Python script to interact via this API with the Google Sheet. So we're going to say continue. This is going to prompt us for a download. So this is going to pop up here. It's going to say, do you want to save this file? We'll say, okay. So let's close this and let's go over to our downloads folder. So you'll notice that it saved this JSON file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rename this to client underscore secret. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file here and I'm going to put it into this empty folder. Now, this is going to have all of the scripts that we're going to write for this project. So this is just going to uh, live here and then we're going to create a Python file, which is going to read this file and it's going to make use of this as its credentials. So let's go over to our terminal and you can see that if I do an LS, I'm inside of that folder here in my terminal. Uh, I'm going to say vim and I'm going to pop open, uh, let's call a, let's create a new Python file called product underscore price.py. So you can use whatever text editor you're comfortable with. I'm just using Vim. If you want to see how I set up Vim for Python, I have a series on that as well you can check out. So I'm in my text editor here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some modules in Python that we're going to make use of. So I'm going to say import gspread, 
and also from OAuth to client.service underscore account. Make sure I spell that properly. Import the class service account credentials. So if you don't have these installed already, let's go over to a new terminal tab. I'll make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to use pip to install both of these modules that we're going to be making use of. So I'm gonna say pip install gspread. So you'll notice that I already have this module installed. So it's just going to say requirement already satisfied. And I'm going to say the same thing for OAuth to client. So OAuth to client is the other module that we're, we're going to require for our script. So you can see that it's all already satisfied. There's nothing for uh, it to do on my end, but for your uh, computer, it may install both of those modules. So I'm just going to close that tab, go back to my Python script here, write that. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that the Python script can actually talk to the spreadsheet. So going back to the browser, if we check out this product price, uh, sheet. This is just a spreadsheet that I created that has this specific format. So namely it has these headings. So item, price, frequency, URL, product name, and then also some total cost. And then I just put under the item column, some items that I want to search. So we saw in the previous video, it just went through that list of items and it just searched them in Amazon. So, so long as you have a spreadsheet in your uh, Google drive, that's called in this case, mine is called product price with an uppercase P for product and an uppercase P for price, one word. So long as it has some name that you can access from your Python script, that should be fine. I can also share the spreadsheet with you so you can make use of this as well. So I'm gonna go back down to the terminal and what we're gonna do is we're just going to make uh, take advantage of this and try to access the spreadsheet that we saw on the in, in Mozilla with this Python script. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in this variable scope. Scope is gonna be a list of two items. So I'm just gonna actually go ahead and copy these items here from off screen, copy these, move them back over here, paste them right there. So these are just a list of URLs that we're going to pass into a, a, a service account credentials class function that is going to verify the script that we're writing can actually communicate with the Google Drive API. So I'm just gonna delete that. I'm gonna put this back here to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. And I'm going to create a credentials object. So I'm going to say creds is equal to service account credentials. And then we're going to make use of a function from this class, which is called JSON from uh, JSON key file underscore name. And then inside of this function, it takes two things. It takes the JSON file, which we got as credentials from the Google Drive API. And it also takes the list of URLs that we provided up on line four. So I'm going to pass it in the name of the uh, file. So again, if you called the client secret and it's living in the same location that we're writing the script to, you just put in client secret. If it's in some other location, you would put in the path to wherever this client secret file is living. And then we're also going to pass in scope. So once we've created our credentials object, we're going to use those credentials and authorize a client to access this stuff. So we're gonna say client is equal to gspread dot authorize. And then inside of here, we're going to pass in those credentials that we created from before. Okay, so let's just make sure that everything here runs as we expect. Let's go ahead and say Python product price. And if we don't see any issues, which I don't think I do, let me just clear the terminal try that again. Let's Python product price. So no issues. Seems like it would run. Seems like it ran just fine. So now let's go ahead and see if we can actually access information from that spreadsheet. So let's just go ahead and say sheet is equal to client dot open. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the name of the spreadsheet that we want to open. So again, in this case, the name of the, of the spreadsheet that we're trying to access is this spreadsheet called product price. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in product price. And I'm just going to say get, uh, or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to say sheet one. So I just want to access the first sheet of that spreadsheet. So if you notice here, if we go back to the terminal or the spreadsheet, rather the sheet underscore here or underneath here, each of these might be separate subsheets that you would have for a major, for a major spreadsheet. So we're just going to access this first sheet here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print out the sheet to make sure that it can actually access that. Uh, and actually I want to, uh, let's extract data from the spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to say items, or let's just say stuff is equal to sheet dot get underscore all records. And then just, let's just go ahead and print out stuff to the terminal. So we'll write that 
run this and see what we get. So it's going to authorize, it's going to access that spreadsheet, and then it's going to say spreadsheet. And I neglected to do is if we go into our file here, our folder here, with all of our content, if you open up this client secret JSON file, let me just bring that into view here. So let me just take that from the off screen. So there is an email address that is associated to this account. So if you bring this over a little bit here, you can see this is the JSON file that has all the information that's going to allow us to access this particular sheet. So if you click on this email address here, this is the email address that you want to share your spreadsheet to have access to. So if I click on that email address, this is the email address associated to the project editor person that we created uh, for the credentials. We're going to give that email address to the spreadsheet and say, hey, here's this person, I trust this person, allow them to edit the spreadsheet. So let's go back to our browser, let's say share, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put in the name, uh, the email address of the person, or in this case the client, that's going to have access to the spreadsheet. So we're going to send access to that, so it's shared with one person. Let's go back to the terminal, let's try that again, let's write this and then try to run it again. So it should. Okay, so in this case, now we actually got something back. And one of the things I realized as to why we were getting this error is because we forgot to enable one other API. So we enabled the Google Drive API, but the other thing that we need to enable is the Google Sheets API. So if I just go back here, uh, if we search for an API to enable, just make sure that you search for Google Sheets, just like we did for Google Drive. Once you find that, make sure that it is enabled, click on the enable button, and then you should see this API enabled little checkbox next to that as well. So we want both Google Sheets and Google Drive enabled. Once we have that, let me go back to our code here. So I didn't change anything in the code. Let me run what we had before. And if we do that, we see that we get everything on sheet one. So in this case, we get all of the headings, so item, and you can see two toothpaste, price, frequency, URL, all of the other uh, heading columns, and pretty much everything on that sheet is conveyed to us in a Python list. So that is pretty much all I wanted to do in this video. I just wanted to get something set up where we created a Google project where it had access to both Google Drive and a Google Sheets APIs, and then a Python script, which we've gone ahead and installed two packages that we're going to be making use of, Gspread and OAuth2 Client, those are used to establish kind of a connection or a window from our script to the Google APIs. And then that is going to allow us to extract and write content to that spreadsheet. So hopefully that made sense. I know it was a little bit uh, staggered because we kind of went back and forth, but this is the way that development tends to go. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. In the next video, we're going to continue building the script that we saw in the first video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.